Fishing for the banks and you need a long rod for a long casting? Check out the Surinoya Fox Hunting Rods. Surinoya market this lineup as a finesse long casting rod for bass fishing, but I'll be using it on the surf. What I'm rocking today is the C782 medium light power rod. 78 stands for seven foot eight inches, two pieces. And this rod here is rated down to four grams, which is gonna be perfect for me fishing on the surf. This rod here sports Fuji guides and it has a moderate fast tip. So you could load up your lure and cast very, very far. I have this rod paired up with the Bates Hundo and I have Verivis 8, eight strand carrier, one go, and I have 12 pound floral leader materials. Let's sing some lures on the surf and see how well fish and I'll let you know how I feel at the end of the video. So let's do this. That is far, my friends. Wakes here getting bigger. Not a big fish. Woo! Oh, those wake, man. It's getting crazy. One of the best ways to fish, man. Sit at the jerk sheds. There we go, popped off. Oh, jig head. I like days when it winds up from your back. Cast so far, it's great. Oh, uh-oh. Can't even dodge that one. So much further than casting with a Benke six and a half feet, man. This thing right here, seven foot eight inch, woo. And also this thing is not stiff at the Benke. So that this whole thing, this rod also loads up when you swing this thing out there. Perfect. Perfect for those surf fishermen who want to throw, you know, with a bait caster. With this hundo right here, one go, woo, I'm launching stuff. And these are not heavy stuff, my friends. That's a 3 16th ounce jig head, plus the 3.5 scented jerk shack. baby. Fox hunting. Base hunt though. The fox hunting seven foot, eight inch medium light. Oop. Peace out dude. In you go. Oh, back in you go. Oh, out, where? Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, All right, out he goes. New color right here, it's coconut. Something like that. Anyway, shrimp, pinkish with some pearl. Let's go. Also, it's scented, procure. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Small little thing. That is fun. Off you go. Yeah, 
Yeah, that little boat right there, a little dinghy. That guy is, uh, whew, I don't even want to say. He's got balls. Here we go. He slammed that one. He slammed that one good. That is a nice one. Dave! Dude! Ah, yeah! Woo! This is a huge one. Yeah! This is for sure a keeper. Look at that, man. Oh, look at that. This is for sure a keeper. Yo, he's putting, he's putting that oh my god, oh, oh my god, oh, oh my god. Uh, get back in there, get back in there. That's what we gotta do. To catch fish, you gotta be fast. How was it over there? Did it look bad? <laughs> I could get hit by this small little guy here. But yeah, this back area seems a little bit slow. Smallest fluke of the day. Look at that. Off you go. A lot of weeds back here. A lot of weeds. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. I lifted that rod and I was like, there's weed on it. Not that big, but he's staying down there. Actually, oh man, oh man. This guy right here is like one of those, I am 16 and a half, very close to 17. Oh yeah, this guy's like 17 incher. He's are one of those fish that'll get you in trouble, guys. <laughs> yep, definitely 17-ish, if not, you know, 16. And three quarter. All right, dude. Wait. In you go. Yo, my brother hooked someone's line. He got tangled up, but there's a fish underneath it. I'm pulling a fish. There's a fish. It's, it's a flounder. It's a flounder. Oh, God. Poor guy. Let me save ya. I pushed it through with my plier. Yo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Man, that was super fun. I caught my first keep fluke from the surf of the season, so I am so happy. But I want to let y'all know the trip is not over yet. There will be plenty of more videos of Jimbo using this setup fishing from the surf, throwing various lures. But let's stay focused on this video. For this fishing session, I was primarily throwing the iStrike Fishing Finesse iJig 316 ounce with a three out hook. And the two plastics I was using were from Z-Man, the Centic Jershad. I was using the 3.5 inch and the four inch version. The 3.5 inch version have mainly freshwater colors, whereas the uh, four inch version have popular saltwater colors. So I was basically interchanging the two and see what the fish wanted. The 3.5 inch version rigged on the jig head is about 9.5 grams, whereas the four inch version rigged is 10.7. Stinging these lures on this setup right here was amazing because I'm getting super, super far distance. Mind you that the wind is coming from behind me, uh, but I'm comparing 
this setup to my previous setup, which was the Bates Hondo, same, same reel that you guys seen in this video, right? With the Major Craft Ben K, six foot nine inch medium heavy. That rod is very, very stiff. But with this longer rod and a moderate fast bend, I can load up these lures properly and sting it very, very far. So with that said, I'm loving this rod and I'm also loving the reel a lot. Like this Bates Hondo is super duper impressive. I think I'm gonna marry these two rod and reel together for the rest of the season. That's how I feel right now. Now I've gotten this rod on AliExpress. You guys can search for it, but I do want to note that because this rod is a lot longer, even though it's two piece, shipping is going to be more expensive because you're going to have to ship a longer box uh, via international mail, right? So um, expect a higher cost for a CDM rod, but I'm telling you right now, this rod, the quality is pretty good. I got two of them so far and I might explore for some more. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this setup, you definitely want to stay tuned because Jimbo did fish this setup a couple more times this fishing trip. So stay tuned for more videos. The fish don't wait. Get your long rods, cast far, catch and fish.